I'm gonna put you guys on one of my favorite healthy snacks. They're these sweet potato nachos. So first up, you're gonna get your sweet potato and slice it as thinly as you can. And then I'm gonna put them in a bowl and give them a little spray with some oil. Next, you're gonna preheat your air fryer to 400. And then just arrange your sweet potato. It's okay if they overlap a little bit, but I'm gonna do mine in two batches. So once they're nice and crispy, you're just gonna add them to a plate. And then you're going to top them with a drizzle of peanut butter or almond butter. I'm gonna do peanut butter and honey today, but if I do almond butter, I like to do almond butter and maple. And then add a drizzle of honey, a little cinnamon, and some sea salt. This part is crucial. Just trust me on this, this will be your new favorite snack. I am going to make some healthier no-bake cookies. First, I'm gonna take half a cup of coconut oil and melt it in the microwave. Also, I found this recipe from um, Eating Bird Food, and she also says that if you don't wanna use oil, that you can use mashed banana. All right, I got my half a cup of coconut oil, so I'm going to pour that into this bowl. Next, you're going to add half a cup of peanut butter. I'm using a scale just so I don't have to fight trying to get the peanut butter out of the measuring cup. But if you're using a scale, it's going to be 128 grams. All right, I got the coconut oil and the peanut butter combined. Now I'm adding in one fourth cup of milk. She used unsweetened almond milk, but I'm just using the Fairlife milk. And one fourth cup of cocoa powder and a half a cup of brown sugar. She used coconut sugar, but I'm using brown sugar. And I forgot to record the one teaspoon of vanilla extract. It also says that at this point, if you want to melt your sugar, that you could put this mixture on the stove um, for like five to six minutes and melt the sugar. Um, but I'm not gonna do that. And now I'm going to mix in three cups of rolled oats. I have this flaky sea salt and I'm going to add a pinch of that in as well. Here is what the mixture is looking like. I'm going to use this cookie scoop to make the cookies over on this baking sheet. Okay, I'm going to try that again with a smaller cookie scoop because those were looking real big. Here is where we're at. I was able to get 34 cookies out of the batch and I'm going to put them in the fridge for about 30 minutes. The cookies are set. When I get my period, I get major sweet cravings and I turn into a total bitch. But this is what I eat to cure the cravings that doesn't make me fat, bloated, or ruin my skin. So I get raspberries and hazelnuts out of the fridge. And yes, keep your nuts in the fridge because it preserves the natural oils of them so they'll stay fresh and crispy for longer. Pop a few hazelnuts into some raspberries, then top them with just a tiny bit of this Nutiva organic hazelnut spread. Pop it into your mouth and just wait for your taste buds to have a fucking orgasm. nine o'clock my sweet tooth is kicked in and i wanted to show you guys one of my like favorite go-to snacks ever that's healthy hits all the right spots and i'm just obsessed with it this little potion is chef's kiss and it's only three ingredients okay greek vanilla bean yogurt i use this one from aldi ground cinnamon and peanut butter you mix all of that up you're gonna have to experiment with the ratios i saw this on tiktok forever ago and now i just do it to taste and if you get it right it makes almost like a frosting like a cream cheese frosting consistency and you can use apples or whatever to dip with it animal crackers apples are obviously healthier but so good bye hi y'all okay three-fourths of a cup of boiling water sugar-free jello Put it in there. Okay, I just mix that with a spoon and it'll sort of like jelly up the way Jello does. Then you're gonna get one cup of ice cubes and put it in there with it. Okay, we got our ice. You're gonna put this on your blender and mix it up. Then you're gonna take one serving of plain non-fat Greek yogurt, put in there. One serving in the cup. Okay, I transfer mine over to a Rubbermaid tote. 
just make sure it's all good and mixed up. You're gonna put this in your refrigerator to let it like harden up a little bit. And it is so good. And this entire thing is 120, like this is a big thing, 120 calories for this entire thing and 18 grams of protein. You welcome. Can someone tell me after all this time of making energy balls why I never thought to use a food processor? Okay, my new latest obsession has been this like snack. It's like a brownie rice cake. So the ingredients you need are a chocolate rice cake, a Hershey's Kiss, honey, and cacao. That's literally it. I think it's so good. Okay, so I take this tiny ass bowl and I pour honey <laughs> on the Hershey's Kiss and then I microwave it. Big key. You microwave it for like 30 seconds just to get the chocolate smell. Okay, so then when it's melted, you dump in the cacao and you mix it until like it's all fine but my bowl is really hot so be aware if that happens to you also you may need to add in like water or like coconut milk if it's not liquid enough when you melted it okay this is like the consistency so i just put it on a rice cake this is what it looks like it's kind of bitter so if you want it more sweet just put honey on it but this has been my new obsession so let me know if you try it this is the best thing you can do with berries Take some raspberries, blackberries, chia seeds, and some coconut oil, and mash it. Scoop spoonfuls onto some parchment paper. Toss it in the freezer. Melt some dark chocolate with coconut oil and coat the frozen berry mixture. Now let's toss these in the freezer for a few more minutes. If you find yourself constantly wanting a sweet snack, but also something healthy, I got you. You need a can of chickpeas, some cinnamon, and some coconut sugar. Drain and rinse your chickpeas. Add in half a tablespoon of cinnamon and half a tablespoon of coconut sugar. Toss all the seasoning around until they're fully coated and look like this. Dump them in your ear fryer basket. Spray with a little olive or avocado oil just so they get a little crispy. Now pop them in the air fryer for 10 to 12 minutes on 400. And now this is going in my lunchbox for the week. Who's ready for a healthy midnight snack? I gotcha, hold on. And it's super high protein, win. I actually shared this recipe in my Team Crystal community on Facebook a while back ago and they were like, oh my gosh, why didn't I think about that? So I was like, I don't think everyone does think about this. Let me show you what I'm doing. You're gonna take two chocolate rice cakes. This is also gluten-free recipe tip. Two chocolate rice cakes, hold on. Or you can just do one, but I'm super behind on my macros tonight, so I got room for them. So we're gonna take those, put them on a plate. We're gonna take half a cup of, I love this Greek yogurt, you guys. It's so good, can you see that? So good, so you're gonna take half a cup of Greek yogurt. Measure that out real quick. Okay, we're gonna pour that into a bowl. And this is gonna be like a chocolate peanut butter thing. Hold on. Gosh, I love that yogurt so much, it's so good. Okay, then I'm gonna take some peanut butter collagen. You guys, this stuff is genius. Like if you don't have this yet, you need to get it, okay? It's amazing, peanut butter collagen. It's got 15 grams of protein, no fat, no carbohydrates, just straight protein. Mix it up in there, hold on. All right, after it's mixed, it's nice and creamy. We're just gonna take that and we're gonna put it on top of these rice cakes. Oh my gosh. This is like 25 grams of protein right here. 
Okay, you got your chocolate, you got your peanut butter. Now we're gonna do some strawberries on there for some fruit. It's perfect. Okay. Oh my gosh, we'll do one more. So easy. Took me less than three minutes to make, more like two. Not even that. Done. Look at that. I'll put the macros below for you. So good. This is a healthy after dinner dessert. This video is not aesthetically pleasing, but here we go. Grab an apple, peel it, core it, and chop it up into tiny pieces. Put some cinnamon and butter on it and place it in the microwave for one minute. Then mix that around and pop that back into the microwave for 30 seconds. And before I did all of this, I did mix up some sugar-free vanilla jello and it already was set in the fridge. Once the apples are done, I place that on the top and good to go. If you wanted to, you could even add zero sugar whipped cream on top. Enjoy. I'm hungry for a sweet snack, but a healthy one. So let's make a snack. Cut up an apple into little bitty thin slices. Okay, take your thinly, thinly sliced apples. Dice, dash, wow, some cinnamon on them. And coat them all. Take them into an air fryer dump them and you're going to air fry them for about five minutes okay so for a sweet topping i'm going to put a little bit i already took a little of heavy whipping cream a little bit of cinnamon and a tad bit of honey whip it up Alrighty. so once they're air fried you're going to dump them in here and i wanted them like baked apples texture kind of, so like super soft. And then take your whipped topping and put it all on top. Kind of like baked apples and ice cream. And then that's how it looks. So it's melting, but that's how they look. Yummy. This is an updated version of the healthy cookie dough that I eat literally every single day. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your oats and add them to your blender. And you're going to blend these up into oat flour. And to your oat flour, you're going to add one serving of vanilla protein powder, a little bit of salt. And then this is the new ingredient that I'm adding. It's baking powder. Normal cookie dough has baking powder in it. So I found that adding a little bit gives it that really true cookie dough flavor. And that's all of our dry ingredients. So you're going to give it a really good mix. And now you're going to add a little splash of vanilla and then some maple syrup, and you can choose to do sugar-free or regular, or whatever you guys like. And then you're going to add a little splash of almond milk at a time and stir it together until you get a cookie dough consistency. Add some chocolate chips. And then I like to pop mine in the freezer for a few minutes so it gets nice and cold and it makes it the perfect texture. And that's it. This is my absolute go-to snack right now. If you're craving something sweet, make these healthy cinnamon sugar munchkins. Add one cup of oats to a blender and blend it into oat flour. Add that to a bowl. Then add one serving of protein powder, a little vanilla, cinnamon, a pinch of salt, and a little sweetener. I'm using monk fruit. Mix that together. Add a tiny splash of almond milk at a time and stir it together until you get a very thick dough. Then roll them up into balls. These are the perfect healthy snack or dessert because they have fiber from the oats and protein from the protein powder, so they're gonna keep you full and satisfy your sweet tooth. Then in a bowl, you're gonna mix a little sweetener and cinnamon, and then coat each ball in it. Line your air fryer basket with foil, give it a spray, and then preheat it to 350. Air fry them for about three minutes until they're golden brown, and then toss again in the cinnamon sugar. 
And that's it guys, these are so good, you need to go try them out. Hey friends, I'm gonna show you the best, healthiest, sweetest, easiest snack ever that I've been loving. Get yourself a plate and some plastic wrap and you're just gonna cover the bottom of the plate with the plastic wrap. Next, you're gonna get yourself some raspberries, washed and clean, and then just lay them out on the plate. Once they are all laid out nicely, I get some honey and just drizzle the honey all over the raspberries. Then I just make sure they're all nice and evenly coated. All right, so this is what they look like. Then just take another piece of plastic wrap and cover the top. Put these in the freezer for a few hours until they're all frozen through. And while I'm waiting for them to freeze though, I will take a raspberry and put some honey inside of it. All right, it's just been a few hours. They're nice and frozen. Oh, it's literally so good. And you can eat the frozen honey too. Oh my gosh.